Hi everyone, welcome to your practice. Today's practice, we are going to be getting deep into our hips, and I have a little quote to share with you. This quote is, your fear is 100% dependent on you for its survival. And that quote is by Steve Maraboli. Your fear is 100% dependent on you for its survival. Yesterday, in yesterday's practice, we were inquiring into what do we want to create? Where do we want to go? And what do we want to grow? And you had some little journal exercises for homework. And it may have been that there were different insecurities and doubts that arose when you were journaling some of the things that you want to create. These insecurities and doubts, we can categorize them as as fear-based thoughts. Fear-based thoughts can often feel like really overpowering. They can even they can feel frightening. They can cause us to have anxiety. Um, they can cause us to really doubt things and doubt ourselves and our worth. And it's important to remember that ultimately these fear-based thoughts they survive because we're empowering them to survive. This doesn't mean that knowing this information, we should then negate our fears or, or suppress them or try to like sweep them under the rug or get rid of them, but rather to actually work with them. When we notice a fear arising, self or self-doubt or insecurities, instead of negating it to inquire more deeply into it, to ask it where it's come from, what is it protecting us from, and do we need it anymore? Is it really serving us anymore? And when we work with our fears in this way, we develop understanding. And when we develop understanding, then we take that charged quality out of the fear. So I'm going to look a little bit into, into this in today's practice, as well as in your journaling exercises. So let's begin. Start coming onto your hands and your knees. Spread your fingers really wide. Press down through the L shape of your thumb and your index fingers and claw the mat with all 10 fingertips. We're going to start by just doing some circular motions. So starting with the ribs, bring your rib cage a little out to the right and then press through your hands and slide your rib cage up and back towards the sky, glide your rib cage towards the left, and then circle it to melt the front of your rib cage down towards the floor. And then to the right, to the sky, to the left, and towards the floor. And go one more time that direction. Try to make the circle as big as you can make it. And now let's go the other direction, to the left, to the sky, to the right, and down. Really feel into every little degree of the movement. And we'll do one more. Left, up, to the right, and down, and then press through your hands and puff your upper back a little bit towards the sky. Now we're going to do some hip circles. So I'm going to start by tilting your sit bones up towards the sky. And then squeeze your left side waist shorter to move your hips towards a little towards the left. And then slowly curl your pubic bone in towards your navel to round your lower back. And then squeeze your right side waist so now your hips move towards the right. And then tilt your sit bones up towards the sky. And then to the left. Curl your pubic bone in towards your navel. Glide your hips towards the right, squeezing your right side waist, and then tilt your sit bones up towards the sky. One more time in that direction. Left, curl in to round your lower back. Squeeze your right side to move your hips to the right, and then up towards the sky. Let's switch dire directions now. So move your, from the tilted position of your sit bones up towards the sky. Squeeze your right side waist so your pelvis moves towards the right. Then curl your pubic bone in towards your navel so that your lower back rounds. Then squeeze your left side waist and move your pelvis over towards the left. 
and then tilt your sit bones up towards the sky. And now try to connect all four of those points into one smooth circular motion. And just do one more of these. And then come to just tilting your sit bones up towards the sky. As you inhale, melt your belly down, melt your heart down, elongate the crown of your head and your sit bones away from one another. And then as you exhale, glide your pelvis towards your heels. Now keep the arc through your spine and inhale, glide forward. So your shoulders come over top of your wrists and as you exhale, glide back. And just one more like this, inhale, glide forward. And as you exhale, glide back. This time, inhale, round forward. Pull your front body to your back body. And as you exhale, tuck your toes, press your hands down and forward and come into down dog. Take a few moments and breaths just to chill here. Chill and meander your awareness throughout your body. Breathe into any areas that are calling for breath. And really lean into what you feel. As you inhale, lift your heels and begin to round forward into a rounded high plank. And as you exhale, pivot both heels towards the right, but keep your right heel lifted. And then bend both knees as you press your left heel down into the floor. Press through the knife edge of your left foot. Draw your outer left hip back. Press through both hands and then gaze forward. Now feel into the opening along your left side. Press into your right foot. And as you inhale, come forward, rounded high plank. And as you exhale, pivot both heels towards the left. Bend your knees. Press your right heel down and keep your left heel lifted. Draw your outer right hip back. Look forward and feel into the sensations along your right side. Your right side waist, your outer right hip. And send your breath there. Press through your left foot and inhale, come forward, rounded high plank. And as you exhale again, shift your heels towards the right, press your left heel down, bend both knees, draw your outer left hip back, look forward. Now shift more weight into your right hand and reach your left arm up. Turn your left pinky finger forward, reach your left arm over your ear, squeeze your right side more short by drawing your outer right hip and your lower right ribs towards one another and then root through the knife edge of your left foot firmly. And as you stretch forward through your left fingertips, stretch your left leg a little more straight. Circle your left hand to the mat, come back into down dog. As you inhale, round forward, rounded high plank. And as you exhale, pivot both heels towards the left, bend both knees, and bring your right heel to the floor. Press the knife edge of your right foot down, draw your outer right hip back. Then weight through your left hand and reach your right arm up. Turn your right pinky finger forward and slowly begin to reach your right arm over your ear. Now press firmly down through your left hand, squeeze your left side, more short, so your outer left hip and lower left ribs draw towards one another. Then firmly root down through the knife edge of your right foot. And as you stretch through your right fingertips, stretch your right leg more straight. Send your breath to the sensations that you feel. Circle your right hand to the top and come into down dog. As you inhale, reach your right leg high, lift it from the inner thigh and spread your toes. And as you exhale, round forward and step your right foot to your right thumb. Sink your left knee down. Magnetize your feet and then inhale, reach up and rise your torso. 
So pull in at your waist and elongate up through the crown of your head. Anchor both big toes down, pull your feet towards one another and maintain the action of pulling your feet towards one another as you begin to sink down into the pose. So as you sink down, continue to lift up and out. Pull in and up through the pelvic floor, in and up through the waist, in and up through your chest, in and up through your throat and the crown of your head. Slowly migrate your hands to the floor. Pick your left knee up and step to down dog. As you inhale, reach your left leg high, lift it from the inner thigh. And as you exhale, slowly step your left foot to your left thumb. Sink your right knee. Root your big toes, magnetize your feet, and then inhale, rise your torso up. You can bring your palms together or your hands can be apart, whatever feels the best for you in this moment. Now magnetize your feet a lot. So create heat in your legs. Maintain that, lift up through your pelvic floor, pull in at your waist, puff up through your chest and stretch through the crown of your head. And now keep this lifting in and up as you sink down a little bit more into your legs, but not collapsing, surrendering to gravity. Keep pulling your feet towards one another, lifting in and up. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, place your hands, lift your right knee up and step to down dog. As you inhale, round forward, high plank. As you exhale, lower chaturanga for three, two, and one. Lower your pelvis down, untuck your toes, and as you inhale, lift your heart and lift your hands. As you exhale, root your toenails down and firm your legs. Then as you inhale, lift your heart higher and higher and higher. Exhale, plant your hands, tuck your toes, glide back through hands and knees to down dog. As you inhale, reach your right leg high from the inner thigh. And as you exhale, step your right foot to your right thumb. Now as you inhale, root your left hand and reach your right arm up. As you exhale, anchor your big toes down, pull them towards one another. So you feel this like ignition, your legs, they light up. Keep that, pull in at your waist, curl your heart forward and then lean a little bit back into your back body. As you exhale, circle your right arm forward and place your right hand inside your right foot. Sink your left knee down. Magnetize your feet actively. Tilt your sit bones back and inhale, reach your heart forward. Then as you exhale, bend your elbows and begin to migrate your heart down in the direction of the floor. But keep this elongation Even as you sink your heart towards the floor, keep your heart elongating forward and gaze slightly forward. Hug your right knee to your right shoulder and keep awareness in your big toes rooting down. On your next inhale, press through your hands, stretch your arms straight, lift your left knee. Root through both hands and then slowly begin to pivot to the knife edges of both of your feet. So all 10 toes begin to point to the right. Heel toe your right foot away from the top of the mat a little bit and press forward through your big toe mounds so that your inner ankles are smooth. They're not creasing. There's no collapse in your ankles. Then reach your heart forward and your gaze forward. Then magnetize your feet towards one another and draw your outer right hip back a bit. Anchoring down through the knife edges of both feet. Inhale, reach your right arm up. As you exhale, press your left big toe mound away from you as you reach your right arm forward. See if you could imagine making a really sharp, clear line from your left big toe all the way forward through the crown of your head. Notice thought formations that are here. And just recognize them all for what they are. Try not to take any of them too personally. Slowly begin to bring your hand, right hand down, pivot 
your toes to point forward, press your right hand, lift your right foot and step to down dog. As you inhale, round forward, high plank. And as you exhale, lower chaturanga for three. Now notice thoughts that arise here, two and one. Lower your pelvis, untuck your toes, inhale, lift your heart and lift your hands. Exhale, root the tops of your feet more. On your next inhale, lift higher with your hands and heart, higher and higher. Exhale, plant your hands, tuck your toes and glide back through hands and knees to down dog. Inhale, reach your left leg high, lift it from the inner thigh. Exhale, round forward and step your left foot to your left thumb. Press through your right hand, and as you inhale, slowly reach your left arm up. Root your big toes, pull them towards one another. Now as you do that, pulling your feet towards one another, maintain that, but simultaneously reach back through your right heel. Pull up through your right thigh. Pull in at your waist. Curl your heart a little forward, and then lean a little bit back into your back body. Circle your left arm forward and place your left hand inside your left foot and then sink your right knee down. Now, magnetize your feet towards one another very actively. Root your big toes, tilt your sit bones back and reach your heart forward. Take a breath in. Now as you breathe out, bend your elbows and sink without rounding. Keep the elongation of your heart stretching forward. Hug your left knee into your left shoulder. Now, wherever you feel this in the most potent way, where the sensations are the loudest, really lean into that area with breath and your presence to feel more thoroughly. Expand your breath into places that feel like they're a little dense or hot. On your next inhale, stretch your arms straight, lift your right knee, flex your left foot and pivot to the knife edges of both of your feet, heel toe your left foot away from the top of the mat. First, look at your ankles, flex your feet, root the knife edges of your feet down, but then press through your big toe mounds so that your inner ankles are smooth and not collapsing. Then, inhale, reach your heart forward, look forward, Pull your feet towards one another, but draw your outer left hip back. Then press into your right hand and reach your left arm up. As you root back through your right big toe mound, reach your left arm over your ear and see if you could create like a crystal clear line from your right big toe mound forward through the edges of your left fingertips. Keep drawing your outer left hip back and leaning into the sensations. Press through your right hand, circle your left arm forward, pivot on your feet so your toes point forward. Root your left hand round your spine, pick your left foot up and step to down dog. As you inhale, round forward, high plank. And as you exhale, elongate in your high plank and lower chaturanga for three, two, and one. Lower your pelvis, untuck your toes. Inhale, lift your heart and lift your hands. Exhale, plant your hands, tuck your toes, glide back through, hands and knees, into down dog. As you inhale, reach your right leg high. And as you exhale, step your right foot to your right thumb. Inhale, reach up with your right arm, magnetize your feet, pull in at your waist, puff your chest and lean back. Exhale, circle your right arm forward, place your right hand inside your right foot. Keep your left knee lifted. Magnetize your feet, tilt your sit bones back, reach your heart forward, breathing in. Breathe out, bend both elbows. Begin to sink your torso down, but squeeze your left thigh really strong. As you inhale, rise back up. And as you exhale, pivot to the knife edges of both of your feet and heel toe your right foot away from the top of the mat. Press through your left hand, and as you inhale, reach your right arm up. As you exhale, root back through your left big toe mound and reach your right arm over your ear. Pull your outer right hip back a little bit. As you inhale, reach your right arm back up. Bend your left knee a little 
And as you exhale, bring your outer left hip and thigh to the floor. Place your right forearm or elbow onto your right thigh. And again, check in with your feet and your ankles. Make sure that your toes and your kneecaps are pointing in the same direction and that your ankles are smooth and not collapsing or sickling. Now squeeze your right side body more so your left side fans open. Bring your right ear a little bit towards your shoulder and gaze in the direction of your knee or you can play around with putting your gaze in a different position to have a different effect on the side body stretch. Whatever you feel potently, match that potency with breath. Press off of your left hand and now come all the way up to stack your right knee over your left knee. If this is too much, you can stretch your bottom leg straight. Check your ankles. Root down through the knife edges of your feet. Make sure your ankles are smooth and not sickling. And then reach your right fingertips to the right. Pull in at your waist, puff at your chest, and inhale, reach your left arm up. Now as you exhale, stay here or bend your right elbow and come up and over. And while you do this, root your left sit bone firmly down. You can stay on fingertips or you can bring your right forearm to the floor. Now, right away to the sensations that you feel. And sensations that are intense have a tendency or can have a, te- a tendency to bring up our doubts and our fears. So here, just notice if any sensations of intensity bring up more of a fear-based thought formation. And then stay with that. Don't abandon it or try to get rid of it. Just let it be there, whatever it is. Getting more curious and leaning in. Now breathing into it. Press into your right hand, lift your right elbow away from the floor if it was down. Come all the way up and through the center. Place your left hand to the top. And we're gonna leave out of this the way we came in. So slowly begin to bring your right knee forward to stack your right heel over, or that's a knee, (laughs) to stack your right knee over your heel. (laughs) Sometimes I get body parts confused. Root through the knife edge of your left foot and press through your left hand to lift up. Reach your right arm up. Stretch your right arm forward as you pivot on your feet. Place your hands and pick your right foot up. Step to down dog. Inhale, lift your heels and round forward. And as you exhale, lower chaturanga for three. Firm your legs. Two and one. Lower your pelvis. This time, inhale, lift your legs, lift your hands, lift your heart. Exhale, plant your hands, tuck your toes, glide back into down dog. Reach your left leg high, breathe in. Step your left foot to your left thumb as you breathe out. Press through your right hand, reach your left arm up, inhale. Exhale, circle your left arm forward and place your left hand inside your left foot. Hug your left knee to your left shoulder, firm your right thigh, and as you inhale, magnetize your feet. Stick your butt back, reach your heart forward and look forward. And as you exhale, bend your elbows and sink low. As you inhale, rise back up. And as you exhale, pivot on both feet and heel toe your left foot away from the top of the mat. Press through your right hand, reach your left arm up, Take an inhale, and as you exhale, reach your left arm over your ear, squeeze your right side a little bit here, and pull your left hip back. Inhale, reach your left arm back up, and as you exhale, bend your right knee a little, and slowly bring your outer right leg and hip to the floor. Place your left elbow onto your left thigh, squeeze your left side so it's a little bit more squished and short, Contracted so the right side can fan open. Turn your gaze towards your left knee and bring your left ear a little towards your left shoulder. Bring your attention to the sensations that are the loudest and lean into the core of them.
Press off of your right hands. Prepare your feet as you transition by rooting the knife edges of your feet. Stack your left knee over your right knee. And then bring your left hand to the back of the mat on fingertips and reach your right arm up by your ear. Stay here or bend your left elbow. Stay here or bring your left forearm to the floor. Press down through your right sit bone. Wrap your left ribs towards your right ribs and then gaze towards the side or gaze down or, or gaze up. Now strengthen your right arm a little bit more. Reach through your right fingertips and as you root your right sit bone, stretch more through your right fingertips. If your right arm comes nearby your head, then place your temple into your arm and your arm into your temple. Now, the sensations that are the loudest, get more curious about those. But like a soft kind of curiosity where you use your breath to really inspect. Press into your left hand, lift your left elbow, come through the center, place your right hand to the top, come forward to stack your right shoulder over top of your wrist. Press through the knife edges of both of your feet and lift your pelvis away from the floor. Left arm up, inhale. Exhale, circle your left arm forward. As you pivot your toes to point forward, press through both hands, lift your left foot up and step to down dog. Claw with your fingertips, bend your knees, tilt your sit bones up. And as you inhale, really press your hands down and forward and stretch the crown of your head towards your thumbs. Inhale, round forward, high plank. And as you exhale, lower chaturanga for three, two, and one. Now press into the earth, firm your thighs, and hold for three. Feel the heat. Notice thought formations, and lower your pelvis. Lift your legs, spread your toes, lift your hands, lift your heart, and reach back and interlace your fingers behind your back. Bend your elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades, Lift your hands up off your butt and then lift everything up off the floor. Now close your eyes so you can really embed yourself into all the sensations that you feel and the correlated thought formations that arise. And just visualize you're leaning into them. So like... Lean in your back body into them. Lift up into them. Take one more inhale. Lift up into it all. Release your hands. Plant them. Tuck your toes. And come to sit to your heels. Turn your palms up onto your thighs. Close your eyes. And keep leaning into what you're feeling. leaning into thought formations that are generated or a byproduct of sensations. And sensations that are generated or are a byproduct of thought formations. And how when we are not really aware of what's going on inside. These thought formations and sensations create this cycle that goes and goes and goes and can snowball. One tiny little thought can turn into a snowball of fear and doubt. This Remembering that our fear is, is it's existing because we're empowering it to exist. So by tuning into these subtle impressions inside, the thought formations and sensations, it's like we can develop a, an ability to be able to disarm anything that's charged before it turns into a snowball.
bring your bum to the floor, bring your legs forward, and come to bring your butt to the middle of the mat. Place your hands to your knees and inhale, lift your heart up, root your big toes, lift your arms up. And as you exhale, curl down for five, four, three, two, and one. Curl all the way down, slide your feet in so that you can touch your heels with your fingertips. Lift and spread your toes to activate your feet and your legs and then root your big toes and your pinky toes, keeping them spread. As you inhale, pull in at your waist, press through your feet, lift your pubic bone a little bit towards your sternum and lift your pelvis up off the floor. Root the back of your head and then begin to walk your arm bones underneath you and interlace your fingers. Root down through your hands and your elbows and your shoulders. Root down through the back of your head and your feet. Lift up through your pelvis solar plexus, and chest. Feel into the, the contrast of areas of your body that are in activation mode versus areas of your body that are in expansion mode. So anywhere where you could feel heat generating Feel, notice the activation, and lean into the activation. Like really support it with your awareness and even activate it more. And then lean into the parts that you feel are expanding and really ex support the expansion by leaning into it more. Release your hands out from underneath you and slowly bring your spine back down. For a moment, just turn your palms up and chill here. Feel that all the places where you just created heat, now there's like this transitional period. The heat sensation slowly releases and it leaves the residue of circulation, of tingling and buzzing. Bring your knees in towards your chest, wrap your arms around your shins and sweetly pull in. Press your sacrum down, root the back of your head and your shoulders. Breathe into your pelvic floor. Release your arms off your knees and slide your legs into Shavasana. Get all of your arms and <laughs> your legs, get your body in this, the sweet spot. Soften through the soles of your feet. Soften through your hands. Soften through your belly. Soften through your throat. Soften through your face. Soften through your legs. Soften through your hips. Soften through your shoulders. Soften through your brain. Soften through your heart. Fall into rest.
Let everything go. Bring your awareness back to any warm, shimmering sensations you can feel. And just take a moment to be nourished by them. Bring some little movements into your fingers and toes. And take a big stretch. Inhale, reach your arms and stretch your legs. And exhale to drop everything. Bend your knees and roll to your side. And pause to get really drapey. Press your hand down and come to your seat. Feel your way into it with your eyes closed, if you can. And bring your palms together. Lift your heart up and humble your brain to your heart. As you humble your brain to your heart, become crystal clear And create an intention for today. Let's see if you can select one that, that really lights you up. That's inspiring for you. And thank you so much for doing this practice with me. I hope you feel grounded and anchored in yourself. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that practice and that it opened up a little bit more awareness in regards to your fears and that, first of all, they're natural and second of all, that really they are, they survive because we, we really empower them to survive. And this is really empowering information <laughs> because it means that in a sense we can get to know them and learn about them and, and understand through inquisition how to disarm them so that they're not it, they're not creating an environment of really holding us down or, or back. And we can start to also take responsibility for, for when we do feel held back, as we can see that we're, we've been empowering our own fear to enable that. So for today's practice, you have some journal prompts, a little bit of homework that will take you deeper into this inquisition. Just know that all of this inquiring is really such a process. So let it be that you do these journal exercises, but then maybe you revisit them in, in a couple weeks or maybe a month or it becomes something that you do 
once a month to to take yourself deeper and deeper into this self-understanding basically is what comes from all of this. So I hope you enjoy your journal prompts and I'll see you in the next practice.